Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another photo peak tutorial. This one I've been looking forward to a lot because we're going to be using the brush tool a little bit in this tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add any kind of texture onto your text, like maybe some ice or cracks in your text. Uh, it's super easy and fast. So without further ado, let's get started. here we are in my project I have my text here ready to go and all we need now is a texture so I'm just gonna search up a texture online and I'll be back when I get there okay so I looked up textures for text online and I found one I want I'm just gonna go with this one right here once you find the one you want just copy it bring it back control V and here we are it is in our project now so all we got to do is go up to edit Free transform, not puppet warp, what am I doing? Free transform, make it bigger than the text, but not too big, to about right here. Now, make sure your texture layer is above the text, like this, and right click on the texture and go to clipping mask. So now there's a little arrow pointing down, that means it's only affecting the layer right below it. So that's what that means, and you can see here our texture is here now. It's kind of a low res image, so it doesn't look that amazing, but you could find a better one. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to double click on our texture text. Up here you can change the color if you'd like, like blue, whatever you want. So now when you go to the texture layer and change the blending mode to screen, you can see the color behind it. Or you can mess with any of these settings. They all do different things until you find the one you like. I'm gonna go with screen because I have an idea for it, so now what we're going to do is go down here to this little rectangle with the circle in it, add a raster mask. So just add that raster mask and you'll see now there's a white box next to it. So this is where you're going to be doing all of your blending. So if you go over here to your brush tool, change the color to black because this one's white, it will start to erase the texture. So you can make it more subtle by just tapping or dragging whatever you want to do I'm just doing it a little bit at a time to kind of erase the texture but not completely just so you can see it's still there some parts are white wider than others so you might need to use the brush on that okay so it looks pretty good if we zoom in here you can see there's still texture it's just more subtle and if you want to bring it back it's really simple Make sure you have this white box selected when you do it. Go back to your brush tool, but this time change the color to white. So now it is bringing back the texture instead of erasing it. So it's good to go back and forth between erasing and bringing it back to make it really good. Like this, it looks better than the first time. You can really see the texture now. So if we change the color of our text to something else, you'll see that it changes the color of the texture but that is because it is on screen. Other ones would do the same in just different ways. That's all you gotta do to add texture. You can choose really any image to make it your texture. It doesn't have to be exactly like rocks or like water. You can really do anything you want with it and there's tons of stuff you can do. So I really hope this helped you guys. Thank you so much for all the support recently. I really appreciate it. And it's keeping me uploading daily. So, I mean, I might miss a day here and there, but that's all right. But anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Later.